my game has a big problem. Expanding the island doesn't really work with its current shape, so I need to use a form which allows me to connect as many islands as I like. As a German engineer, I obviously have to choose the most efficient one. And this is clearly the hexagon, because hexagons are the bastagons. I quickly swapped out the models, generated new foliage, and here we go. Hexagon Island. If you're new here, you're probably asking yourself what kind of game I'm working on. I'm working on a city builder where your choices directly impact the environment and people of your city. In the last video I added electricity, smog and nuclear explosions. But today I'm gonna create a daily routine for my people, simulate some water and tsunamis. Yeah, yeah I will make a steam page, you can stop asking. So let's get started with the daily routines. Um, what do normal people do in their day-to-day -day lives? I mean, the last two years have been kind of bland for me as a student, so, um, okay, let's just say people go to work, then they spend their hard-earned money in shops, and finally will go home and repeat that until they die. First of all, I need a human model, so I just grabbed one from an old Brackies tutorial and applied a Mixamo walking animation to that. Now I have to teach it how to move to places, but <laughs> coincidentally, I already made a system for that in my last game challenge video. Now that people can finally walk out of buildings, I only need, well, buildings. <laughs> I quickly jumped into Blender, modeled a shop and a high-rise work building. So basically the daily routine is to work from the house to the car, drive to work, do some work, and then repeat the same procedure for the shop. And afterwards, I just go home. Okay, this seems kind of easy to implement. I just need to connect all my existing systems together and should easily work. Yay, they're driving correctly. Okay. What? Okay, that, uh, uh, that was just a bug. Now they're driving correctly. Now everything's good. And then they walk in, and then they walk out. What? Now that I already have to fix all the traffic uh, <laughs> features, I thought it was a good time to finally switch from the old laser distance recognition system to a new, more efficient one. Instead, each lane now calculates the distance between the current car and the car that is in front of them and sets the speed accordingly. And now they drive even more realistically. Yay! Well, most of the time. <laughs> because gas is kinda getting expensive at the moment, I also added people simply walking to their destination. Yes, they currently ignore all traffic lights, but depending on where you're from, <laughs> that's actually normal, or so I've heard. <laughs> Okie dokie, people can now lead a happy life filled with hopes and dreams. So let's jump! But I kinda don't know how to simulate water, but good thing there are tons of tutorials out there for that. The first way to create realistic water are Gerstner waves. Gerstner was a guy who lived like 200 years ago and even had more than 1400 subscribers, which was pretty good back then. Crazy. But back then you couldn't make any money with YouTube, so he invented some fancy water math. And I'm gonna use that for my game. Uh, I'll spare you with the details, not that I would actually understand his math. <laughs> I simply copied a tutorial and uh, yeah, here's the result. Well, um, that's looking like water, but I think it looks a bit too realistic. And I think it doesn't really fit the low poly style of my game that well. So let's jump into the next tutorial. This time, instead of using Gerstner waves, I'm gonna use Perlin Noise. Perlin Noise is basically a fancy way to generate random patterns. Just using one Perlin Noise iteration looks kinda bad, but overlaying exactly six of them yields quite good results. Why six exactly? <laughs> I have no idea. I just followed a tutorial and the guy uses six. I tried to use less than six and it just looks bad. I don't know why, but yeah, so <laughs> I just stayed with six. So here's the final result. I think the water system fits the low poly style a lot better and feels way more watery. So I decided to use that for the game. Now that I made water, let's make a lot more water. I want to make a giant tsunami that can flood your city if you produce too much CO2 emissions. For example, by having too many power plants, cars, or stuff like that. By the way, have you heard of Gerstner? He was a pretty big YouTuber back in the day and he made some pretty great waves. So I tried to figure out how to only get one wave from him. But I kinda struggled with that a bit first. Because I basically saw all the major tutorials for waves inside of Unity, I thought I could just switch to Blender and try to replicate the waves from Blender inside of Unity. So I found one tutorial which looked pretty awesome and I was able to replicate it pretty good. But I wasn't really able to replicate the effect inside of my game. And on top of that, Unity also kinda struggled rendering it correctly, which just looked really strange. I've decided that I wanted to try to make my own tsunami. 
but I don't really have any clue about how all this fancy wave stuff works. A great philosopher once said, I like big curves and I cannot lie. And well, so do I. So I used Unity's animation curves to create a wave-like shape and used some magic to apply that to each vertice that is in range of my wave. After lots of trial and error, I got this wave as a final solution. It kinda looks like a big blob, but it is my big blob and I like it for that. It doesn't have any weird rendering issues and it looks decent enough, so instead of wasting more time on this, I will waste more time on finally starting to make my Steam page. Wait, making a Steam page? costs $100. Thanks a lot for the 100 subs, I'm now able to release my game on Steam. I'll send you my feed pics later. Now that my financial reserves are filled up, I can finally start making a Steam page. Okie dokie. So the game is a game, uh, and the game name. So I'm making a city builder where you build on islands. So let's name it City I uh, Worlds. Okay, now let's add some tags. Do, 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 do. And this one last. Okay. Should be done now. Now I only need to wait a bit until they review it. Oh, okay, it's in. So let's see what they said. What the Eichhörnchen? They said that I didn't explain my game good enough? Eh, I, I, I thought that was perfectly understandable. Okay, anything else? Wait, Jeremy? W wasn't there someone looking for, for a Jeremy? If you know who it was, tell them Jeremy is in my basement now. And with him out of the way, my Steam page should also get directly approved. Yay, I got accepted. Now I can finally do the thing. <clears throat> if you haven't wishlisted my game, which you probably haven't, I mean, I just activated the Steam page, wishlist it now on Steam. Wishlisting is free and it helps me out a lot. Pa